Welcome everyone. My name is Olga Finneran and I am your host today. Thank you for joining us for this Drummond Advisory Service Services Real World Testing Webinar. We want you to know we appreciate your attendance and this webinar is being recorded. We will have it available on our website's resources page within the next 24 hours. Our speakers will be taking a few questions at the end of this webinar. Feel free to send your questions via the chat button. Any questions not answered live will be answered via email. It is important to note the services offered by our Drummond Advisory Services team are separate and distinct from the Drummond Test Lab and certification, certification body. Specific questions about real world testing compliance will be addressed offline. Our panelists today are Gila Pike and John Velukovich. Gila is an ONC veteran and has worked in, as an ONC test proctor for two of the four ONC authorized test labs, as well as working on the underlying standards that contributed to the ONC certification requirements and test procedures. She has been working on HIT standards since 2004 and in health IT consulting since 2001 and has been on the provider buyer side, developer side as well as regulatory side of the health IT space. She now leads the Drummond Group Advisory Services Division, providing consulting services across all Drummond Group certification programs, including real world testing. John brings more than 25 years in healthcare IT, having worked for many years at Meditech. Conval and Berkeley Consulting Group before joining Drummond in 2019 as the Interoperability Program Director. John recently completed a collaborative agreement with ONC to create additional surveillance capabilities in the form of the Healthcare Interoperability Hub. He also supports Drummond's healthcare compliance and advisory services business units in their efforts to build out real world testing and comprehensive HL7 fire testing and consulting programs. So let's get started. Gila and John, it's all yours. Great. Good morning, uh, everyone. John Belukovich here. Uh, thank you for the introductions, Olga. And um, as stated, we're going to get going here on our Real World Testing Advisory Services webinar. So the agenda for today is uh, this is specifically set up to address advisory services. So I'm going to go over you know, what that entails as a division within Drummond for real world testing. Uh, some of the expectations for 2021 as you start to plan out your year, which is really, when you think about it, more than a year commitment for real world testing, but the expectations of what we're seeing for 2021. Uh, Gail is gonna get into the details behind the advisory services packages and pricing and, and, and the flexibility that's built into that program for developers that may only have to certify one criteria or two larger integrated offerings. Uh, briefly, we'll take a peek at some of the IP and collateral and some of the initial approaches to writing and supporting test plan activities for our customers. And then to wrap it up with a reminder about the engagement timeframes as we look at it from the advisory services perspective. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna hand it over to Gila Pike, who's gonna make some introductions to the advisory services offering. Gila. Thanks, John. Hi, everybody. I, I'm so excited to see some very familiar names uh, in the list of attendees, and we're looking forward to talking to and working with as many of you as are interested. Uh, I'm. We're, Drummond is excited to announce that we are building out our advisory services practice based on the feedback and interest from our clients across all of our certification and compliance programs. Our goal really is to leverage our experience as auditors in high trust and other security programs, HIPAA, and of course, ONC certification um, in order to pre help prepare our clients to have a smooth and successful audit regardless of which certification it is that we're helping you with. Everybody working on the Drummond Advisory Services team has experience in one or more of our programs, uh, including ONC certification. In order to deliver our services, it is very important to note that we are independent of the certification body. We do not work for the ONC ECB, nor do we work for any of the other 
um, assessment or audit groups that deliver or audit for the certifications that Drummond provides. We have a hands-on relationship with them. We know who to ask the right questions to so that we get the most timely guidance, but we cannot in any way influence the decisions that they make with regards to whether they will accept your test plans or your test results. What we can do is set expectations and provide you with the guidance that is fresh and up to date. We do maintain a separation. We are a separate team. Um, and regardless of how we will be working together, you will be assessed at the same standard to the same standard as an organization that has not engaged in Drummond Advisory Services. So we want to be fully impartial and our goal really is to help you be consultants and advisors for you. Um, this is not a get out of jail free card. This really is where you want to have that additional support and services. Great, thank you, Gila. What I'd like to do now is just transition over to, again, at the highest level, run through some of the expectations as we all look at it, whether you're a developer, a support agency, a consulting side of things, what we're looking at for 2021. So just to key up a couple of these things, as you're well aware of, right? Now that the interim final rule came out last year, uh, that gave us all an extra year in terms of the planning and process. And it was at that time that was mentioned that ONC would be issuing additional guidance and holding listening sessions. That is still on track. Expect announcements from ONC in terms of offering a public listening session. This will be your opportunity as an EHR developer, application developer, to see where ONC is at in terms of real world testing guidance. And they are really looking to hear from you as developers. So some of the finite questions in terms of things that we're able to offer guidance on, we can take it so far, but we too you know, may have similar questions. So anticipate and be on the lookout and so make sure you've subscribed to ONC's blog to get announcements. Uh, I can tell looking ahead at the annual meeting for ONC, which occurs next week, I'm sure many of you will be attending that virtually like we will here. Uh, it's, there isn't a specific session set up to do real world testing or discuss it as the agenda that's listed now. So again, they're taking a hard look at real world testing as its own item. So with the IFR, what I can say on behalf of the ONC ACB is collecting test plans, one year delay. Okay, the test plan time period for submitting them to your ONC ACB such as Drummond's will continue to be the September to November period. Uh, that's when, per the interim final rule and final rule, ONC ACBs are open for business to, co to collect those. Uh, there is, an, allowed by the IFR, an interim final rule, a, uh, deadlines for ONC ACBs to ensure that the most important deadline is December 15th, right? That's when your chapel listing needs to be updated with real world test plans. So obviously, uh, ONC ACBs are putting some artificial deadlines in front of that to ensure that we're able to handle all of the volume. So what does that mean? We're revisiting all of the real world testing advisory engagements now. And I will make note that in terms of ONC issuing guidance, um, we're aware of the fact, right? You should be aware of the fact that on the ONC websites, under programs, under resources, they've developed a, an 11 page or data sheet. And this is, it's a, it's a summary of all of the mentions of real world testing in both the final and the interim final rule. And I will point out that a lot of the, the pop out or, or bubble mentions that I'll call them in this guidance sheet do start with, for example. So I think they've done a nice job on the ONC side about delving into collapsing all of the in, uh, rule men, men, mentions, excuse me, for real world testing and starting to give you a peek into some guidance. As through this document and any expectations forward, there's a lot of flexibility built into real world testing. So, so it is a bit of uh, every single one of you, I guarantee are gonna have different real world testing plans. Um, uh, the ONC is looking at and still has mentioned possibility of offering up templates, timeframe to be determined. We haven't heard any more on that, but they are coming to have you sort of fill out a real world testing plan. But again, their, their revision for this is its flexibility. Okay, so just to make sure in terms of uh, setting 
in guidance and what you can look at now because you like all of us probably had the final rule all marked up and then you the interim final rule and you highlighted all that and you probably created internal documents for real world testing everything you need to know about real world testing is here in this in this data sheet it's, it's pretty it's a pretty good read and it's a good reminder about what you should be thinking about as you start to design your real world test plans with that, what I'd like to do is hand it back to, and let's get into really the crux of this presentation and how we from the advisory services side are approaching um, real world testing. So Gila, I will hand it back to you, please. Thanks, John. So uh, let me just point out that we've broken the anticipated services out into several optional packages so that we can be as flexible as possible to our clients. I'm gonna jump through them at a high level and then obviously focus on the one that everyone's interested in this year, which is the test plans. Uh, I wanna point out that package two and five are really just in there to show you the flow. Those are not part of advisory services. They're not optional. That's where you submit the test plan and that's where you submit the results. So regardless of whether you engage us for advisory services or not, you will be submitting your test plan to the ACB and being reviewed exactly the same way as anybody else. And then the following year after you execute on that test plan, you will be submitting your reports to the ACP just like everybody else. We are happy to help you with as little or as much of that as you feel you need our help with. So for test planning, which is that first package, which is what everybody is trying to wrap their brains around this year. We're really interested in helping you tell your unique story. How is it that you orchestrate the ONC criteria in order to deliver services to your clients in their specific workflow and care setting? So the goal is to include functional testing as well as meaningful metrics that show how your certified products are being used out in the field and to help you put together some test steps and test plans so that you can really show what is being used and how it's being used and what ONC certification has meant for your client organizations. At the end of this work together, you will have a completed test plan that you will submit to the certification body. We will engage with you, help you identify the testing approach that works best for their criteria that you're certified to, that you have to do real world testing for. We'll help you identify test plan steps and we'll help you break it down into those individual pieces. After you submit it to the ECB, get your test plan approved. Um, the following year is where we can start talking about helping you with test execution, helping you pull some of those numbers and those results. Uh, for functional testing, we're picturing it the same way that certification went in the first place, where we would organize those user stories that contain one or more criteria into individual test days or include several user stories in one test day, and then uh, additionally help you actually execute on those metrics that you want to pull and including your results. Uh, you know, based on our experience in surveillance and in other types of testing, we understand that sometimes it's quite difficult to get everybody there on the day of. So package three is really, if you need our help coordinating everybody who's going to participate in the test day, obviously we spend a lot of time doing that for our other programs. We're happy to do it for you, but we're also happy to let you do that because you already have your client relationships you already have your account managers. So again, we're very flexible um, and we're happy to help you execute your tests and we're happy to help you do as much of the um, facilitation of the test days and also facilitation of the collection of the metrics that you're going to be submitting at the end of your program. Uh, if you want more than just those little pieces, if you want a little bit more guidance and time to do this work, we're also happy to provide additional services at an hourly rate. It really depends on how much or how little support you're looking for. And we're absolutely happy to uh, talk to you one-on-one -on -one and talk about your individual organization, which criteria it is that you're 
looking to do real world testing for? How do we combine them? What makes the most sense for you? Uh, and happy to answer any questions that you have today as well. Great, thank you for that, Gila. What I'd like to do now, team, is just take a brief look and just sort of you know, peek into some of the things we're thinking about in terms of collateral to help guide you through uh, the real world testing approach. And again, we're, our goal here, as Gila mentioned earlier, was to leverage the experience that we have, that folks that worked in the, in the field in the EHR side, folks that have worked for multiple actually ONC ACBs, guidance and compliance. So, uh, you know, our drum and difference, obviously, is we have and we enjoy that direct line to ONC. We have the experience with with the EHR market, and our staff has spent decades in the in the field. And what we're looking at here is to tailor these real world test plans to to your customer approach and settings of care, because everybody, like I said, is going to be different. The, the large integrated data uh, provider systems, um, multiple challenges there, single criteria challenges and even multiple companies that just may perform things like direct messaging. Uh, there are different approaches to that. And our goal here is tailor them to the, the, those settings of care. So for instance, we are toying around with the idea and working with some of our pilot teams here about combining user stories and criteria to get to end game metrics as implied in the final rule that's possible. And then starting to break those things down with an approach to determine that perhaps uh, there's human actors and system actors that are combined, how those relate to one or more settings of care and the environment in which we might recommend uh, that real world testing metrics and measures will be conducted. And again, on top of that, at our very first typical kickoff call, if you're interested in more parts of the service, uh, there's links at the end of this presentation, and we'll remind you on the website about how to engage us to, you know, maybe just need to spend an hour on the call and determine which one or two or three packages might be enough for you. Maybe it's just package one and, uh, and, you're, and you're on your way, uh, but that's that discovery. Once we go through that and there's an official engagement, then we really do start working out uh, a, a statement of work uh, template and really digging into understanding your environment really beyond the chapel. And again, you can look at real world testing as going beyond the chapel. So let's again revisit from an advisory services and from a planning purposes, real world testing as a whole, what we're looking at in terms of timelines. So we're looking at the next two years for real world testing. And you can see on the top of my ONC chapel dates, the bottom are the Drummond uh, due dates, which are part of the public knowledge on the ONC ACB side. So we know that per the final rule, officially test plans that you design either on your own or with our help or with anybody's help are due and can be start to send to the Drummond Group and other ONC ACBs as early as September. Uh, we will, we're going to have to put a November 15th timeline in front of the final rule timeline for when things need to be posted just to allow organizations such as uh, us on the ONC ACB side to you know, look at those plans, make sure everything is complete allow a little leeway if we have to send something back because it is a it is a fairly decent sized lift to look through those and get those published by December 15th. It is no coincidence folks that in the final rule in terms of final rule you have 15 months to collect your results. So I think we can all infer from that that uh, it's probably not one test one and done. Uh, these are designed to be real world testing proving to ONC proving to your customer base that these things work over time in the field and maybe what their adoption rates are. You then have obviously until February 15th, a month in front of the final rule date to get those results back to Drummond's so that they can be posted to the chapel. It's important also to realize that during that whole collection period that's going to occur in 2022, final rule stipulates real world testing is an annual maintenance of certification requirement. So all the while, while you're doing your real world testing collection of results, you do have to start planning that next year's plan is gonna be due to Drummond by the 15th because you have to have next year's plan posted by, by December. Then there's that overlap period for results collection and then another whole real world testing activity has to start uh, in 2023. So. 
Annual cycles, yes, uh, it, it would behoove us. We are certainly gonna guide our customers should you engage us for helping out with the results collection. Uh, we're gonna make a hard push obviously to get those done in the earlier portions and quarters of the year versus waiting to the end because now you're in a whole new cycle for your next real world testing plan. Okay, so this is a derivative of very much similar to the time frame reminders that you'll find in that real world testing uh, fact sheet that ONC posted that uh, again, check the Q&A, check the chat, uh, the link to that has been uh, has been published. It's also as part of the collateral uh, links that we'll show you at the end of this presentation. So reminder again, this is why we are getting started with clients now. We've already engaged a couple. Uh, that test plan writing process, submission process, we wanna be good stewards to Drummond and any other ONC ACB to ensure that you know our work is done and we've uh, finished up with our clients and writing all the test plans for the clients that we do take on, uh, obviously, by um, essentially the beginning of, of Q4. Uh, we're not going to be allowed to bleed much past, past that. So again, planning purposes, and I think you're all aware of that. What I'll do next is I'm going to hand it back to Gila just to go over the cadence of what we're looking at and some reminders again about the activities of this group and what we're doing. So Giller, if I could hand this slide to you. Thanks, John. So I think that everybody who is certified with us before understands that the end of the year is always a crunch. Uh, I think that the end of this year is going to be uh, no different. So we're encouraging everybody who's really interested in advisory services to reach out now with the understanding that we're gonna to continue to learn things as the quarter continues, but we're happy to uh, look at the criteria that you're looking at doing real world testing for, start to talk about what it is that you might want to help with, have those one on one conversations and identify what it is that you might want to engage us for so we can do some planning and make sure that we're engaged ahead of the deadline. Really this year, we think that everybody's gonna be focused on the test plan, but we're obviously happy to talk about services for next year as well. And what we wanna do in short order is determine scope, figure out what we wanna do for those criteria, figure out if you want help with all of the criteria, or if you just wanna pick the hard ones and get our help with those and then do the rest of the work yourself, whatever it is, we're here to support you. Uh, drop us a line. There's a form on the website that you can access where you can fill in the information about what your product is and what it is that you're certified to and what you're looking for. Uh, or you can just contact us via the email addresses at the end of this presentation, and we're happy to have a conversation with you. Great. In this presentation, on the Drummond website proper, uh, you can find direct links to advisory services, uh, links to the ONC side of the house and their publications and resources. There's a knowledge base article over there, FAQs over there about in terms of whether you engage advisory services or not. And then obviously the links to the final and the interim final rules. So again, encourage folks, you know, the Drummond Group website main page, there's the compliance link, and then off of compliance, you will see uh, real world testing. That's the place, too, that if you would want to fill out a form that's available there to engage um, Gila's team and myself for some follow up, and you'd be interested in engaging whether advisory services might be for you. Uh, that's the type of uh, you know one hour you know courtesy call that we can organize with your team to um, go through the offering in a little bit more detail and uh, help you dissect whether it might be the right fit for you. So we'd encourage that. Uh, as always, uh, you know, we're here to help. So both myself and, and Gila. Gila is the, is the BU lead for all of advisory services. So beyond real world testing, the high trust, the PCI teams, the security team, all of those advisory services are, are to Gila. So we would encourage that direct advisory services questions uh, to Gila. Uh, I'm supporting that uh, group in terms of real world testing advisory services as well. So can you can use both of those emails there. As always, existing customers uh, about uh, other things that are ONC provisions um, will turn you to your account rep and your uh, Sonia Galvan. So with that, what I'm going to do here is I'll take a quick look through the Q&A section first. 
see if there's anything we might be able to answer on the fly. Uh, again, I want to um, just for the demarcation line, just for accreditation purposes, uh, specific what the ONC ACB side of the house is doing. I may have to table a couple of those questions uh, and have Sonia uh, follow up with you individually, do my best to answer those. Uh, advisory services questions are completely fair game here. So let me just take a quick look here and this presentation again is going to be uh, available. Uh, let's see. Most of these here. Okay, I got a question here. Test execution centered on specific testing instances or support continuous testing through the year. Um, that's a good question from from um, uh, the audience about uh, continuous testing throughout the year. Uh, frankly, I like the word continuous. Uh, that speaks to the fact that real world testing results is a allowed over the course of 15 months. So uh, our goal here is, is, is to tailor and looking at test plans that would capture results over a period of time. A, a one and done test from a singular platform uh, probably is, is not, going to, not going to cut it. Let's see, a couple other questions here. I'll just sort through on the fly. Um, let's see, anything I can answer for advisory service. Uh, just a question here again about testing particular criteria, successful execution of a user story, for instance, uh, for required functionality, um, consider the primary default test method. That one there is, I think, when we, we look at what we might call a user story, the, the short answer to that is a, a primary or a default test method. It's something that we're looking at here on the advisory services side that uses stories or combinations of criteria through workflow uh, would be one way to approach coming up with measures and metrics. Let's see if there's anything else I can answer on the fly here. Gila, feel free to chime in if I've mm -hmm. jumped over anything. I think I'm seeing a few questions that I'm very excited about regarding what kind of change are we expecting between test plans from year to year. I think that we are expecting a portion of those test plans to remain stable throughout the year, especially if your product or the way that it's used remains stable year after year. Obviously, we're hoping that everybody's programs are successful and continue to evolve and grow, but we definitely expect that there's going to be some consistency in that your product is going to continue to be used for what it's used for. I think what we're expecting to change is we're expecting those metrics to get updated every year, and we're expecting to understand more and more year after year how many people are using this functionality, what are they using it for, and those pieces. I think that one of some of the value of real world testing is being able to report to ONC, not only are we certified, but we're using it out in the world. Here's how many people are using it. Here's what they're using it for. So that helps both you as a certified organization. And it also helps ONC as the owner of the program to continue to show the value of this program that we've been working so hard on for 10 years now. I see one on the other side there. Good, good, good question uh, about the advisory services um, included in maintenance fees, or is it a separate charge? So, uh, yeah. To to be frank, uh, advisory services is just that. It's completely separate from uh, the normal maintenance fee for your product certification listings. That's distinct and separate and or the real world testing as part of the pricing plans that were released last year for when, whether you use advisory services or not, you, you will submit a real world test plan to Drummond for review, and you will submit results for review next year. So advisory services is just that, it is consulting, it is a separate charge, just to be clear. Look through a few here, let's see. There's a couple in here, John, that are definitely ECB questions. Uh, I just want to call them out. So does real world testing apply to 2015 edition certified modules that have not yet been certified under the CURES criteria? Um, that's definitely a Sonia question. We'll, happy, we'll be happy to engage you with her. I don't know if you want to answer that quickly, John, or if we're just going to uh, connect this person with Sonia. 
Yeah, I can answer that one on the fly. Uh, yeah, real world testing is for anything that's certified to 2015. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't gone, if something is not certified, it's not on the chapel, then it does not apply to real world testing. That one I can, that one I can answer on the fly. So. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. And similarly, yeah. is there a way to comply with the Cures Act without real world testing? I'll have to defer because that, um, again, real world testing is a requirement for maintaining your certification uh, listings on the chapel, i.e. if you have something on the chapel and you don't perform real world testing, um, that would be, um, that would be um, something that ONC would take a look at. And you really do need to talk to your ACB about that because- Yeah, I'm gonna defer that one. Um, mm -hmm. Again, Sean, your, your question there, uh, the, the line in the sand for real world testing, uh, again, is, is August, 30, August 31st. So that is of whatever is in the field and ready for release at that particular time. Uh, that is what uh, needs to be addressed in terms of that year's real world testing plan. Uh, and I think you mentioned cloud in there too. Uh, there are very specific mentions for those of you that are cloud vendors that, that I can at least recall that uh, in terms of settings of care. So uh, be sure to take a look at that in the fact sheet. So we have a couple of questions around the test execution package. Is it centered on a specific testing instance or does it support continuous testing throughout the year? I think you answered a bit of that. And then the follow-up question, which is when testing a particular criteria is successful execution of a user story, that exemplifies the required functionality, consider the primary default test method? And I think the answer is yes, but really we need to look at it on an individual basis, depending on the criteria. So currently we're talking about the user story being that functional testing, the primary method for demonstrating that the products continue to function in the field. We also want to look at a way to summarize and provide metrics for how those products function as well as a secondary set of data. I don't know if you had stuff to add to that, John. No, I think that, yeah, that, 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 that hits it, yep. Awesome. Uh, we have a question around the pricing for the five real world testing packages. So they're broken up into individual modules. We're happy to go into that in detail uh, with you individually, unless, you wanted to jump into that today, John, but I think we're gonna be posting this. So if you are interested in pricing, um, absolutely reach out to us by email or via the forum and we'll sit down with you and go through your options. We will be presenting those statements of work or those uh, pricing options, really depending on what it is that you're looking for. And we'll show you what the prices are for each piece. Yeah, we'll concur, concur. Yeah, there's an opportunity there to work up an SOW and a uh, full review for the client to determine whether or uh, in terms of a go-ahead plan, but just uh, frankly, uh, as you all can probably appreciate, the variety of chapel listings and how they adhere to uh, settings of care, for instance, which again, you as providers know how many settings of care you're technically deployed in. Uh, that's a conversation we really do have to have one-on-one, -on -one. but it's a, it's a normal time in materials. And then again, we do uh, are able to, I can say, and disclose that we've looked at this from an economical standpoint to understand and appreciate our customer base up to this particular point to say that every individual criteria is, is not a per fee basis. So I can say we, what we do look to is put various like criteria together to get them towards a user story and then price it that way, as opposed to nickel and diming on uh, criteria across multiple settings of care. So. Um, I think that's probably um, represented in the fact that we've already had some conversations with clients and we've uh, engaged a couple already officially. So, so far, so good there. Uh, there is a question there uh, regarding Will Drummond or ONC release template on how to present the real world testing plans. Um, ONC is developing templates the o and they're getting input from all four ONC ACBs. So out of that will be the guidance or the template 
that will be released to um, to various customer bases. So ONC does realize what we and the other ONC ACBs on our monthly roundtable calls, which have turned into biweekly addressing real world testing. I can tell you that um, have uh, have made it known to ONC ACB that you know we're getting lots of questions. EHR developers are, are doing this now. If I was to put my EHR developer hat back on, I would be in the throes of it. So um, again, there will be some sort of form template guidance uh, that will be uh, driven by ONC with ONC ACBs giving advice to that. And as soon as that becomes available, um, we will let you know. Let's see, just a quick double check on any other questions out there. Let's see, Q and A. Yeah, I've got one. I've got one in here that I've seen a few times that I think is very exciting, but that I don't have an answer to. So, uh, a few people have asked, will there be advisory services available for ONC certification in general, um, in addition to real world testing? And the answer is, we have talked about that before. The ATL actually had a pretest service for a while, and then they got busy and. Um, I'm not sure that they're offering that right now. So if there's enough interest, we'll absolutely offer it. We will collaborate with the test lab on whether they want to expand their pretest services or if they want us to handle those advisory services. But if you're interested in paying for more support to obtain your certification, I think we can certainly accommodate you. Please reach out and let us know what you're thinking about and then we can go do the legwork to investigate. How to best deliver that. Okay, I, again, another quick question here in terms of when the information will release to ONC, we, would we let you know? Uh, it, the, answer, the answer is yes. And um, often, oftentimes, well, we, don't, we don't get much more lead time than those, those in the field. So again, encourage subscription to the ONC blog and to follow the links that are in the Q&A portion of here that bring you to ONC's main resources webpage. And that you'll see the most recent posting there is this real world testing advisory guidance. So uh, of course, late breaking news, anything ONC releases, uh, we owe it to our customer base to put that, uh, put that out there and, and will. Uh, but uh, again, it's pretty upfront and often uh, timely from the ONC blog posts. Good question. I'll give it about one more minute if there's any last minute questions gone through the Q&A gone through the chat um, again we had a fair amount of attendees so we appreciate you guys taking time out technically before any uh, lunch breaks so realize the importance of this and hopefully you found this valuable in terms of what we're doing here and, and again encourage that um, if this is a discovery call you think it might be worth your time uh, again, this is this is optional, uh, but it is something that our fair amount of our customers said that, that advisory services around this would be helpful. Just doubling back on the Q and A. There's a question there about database selection. I'll I'll have to um, I'll have to put that over to Sonia, and if you could provide any more detail about about that question, that would be great. All right, Olga, I think that's probably about it. Uh, again, courage and visits to the, the Drummond website where you can engage us directly through the advisory services page. Uh, do appreciate everybody's attendance. And again, be on the lookout from uh, the public listening sessions from ONC. It's going to be a good opportunity, I think, for all of us to, to uh, ask for any additional uh, clarity. But uh, again, if it's take away, put my EHR developer hat on. Uh, this is an opportunity to you know, be a bit creative. Everyone's gonna have slightly different plan, but, but the goal here is this is an adjunct posting to your chapel. So an opportunity for you as an EHR developer to, uh, you're on the chapel because you already passed certification. You did the certification scripts. That's not what real world testing is. Real world testing is beyond the fact that yes, you should be able to handle uh, false certificates and, and and good certificates for direct messaging and you, you support a CC, the proper CTA version. Uh, that's what certification is supposed to do. 
uh, what is your product doing in the field? And how do you measure that it is successful in the field? Uh, that, is, that is the intent of real world testing and, and reading between the lines, not telling you guys anything you don't know, that's what ONC is looking for. So that would be my encouragement around a, a, plan, a plan development. Okay, Olga, with that, I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Gila, any last comments? It's so nice to see so many familiar names. Welcome back, everybody. And we're looking forward to hearing from you and hopefully working with you again. Well, thank you, um, John and Gila. And thank you all for attending today. Let us know how Drummond Advisory Services may be there for you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great one. Thank you.